Goodbye Canva and hello Adobe Express, you have won my heart. Adobe Express is one of the newest additions to the Adobe Creative Cloud suite of tools. You can create book covers, album art, graphic design pieces, posters, business cards, social posts, and you can even post your social media schedule and calendar. Are you kidding me? Today's video, I'm gonna show you around Adobe Express, a few of its coolest features, some things that I really love about it, and I tell you what, me and Adobe Express, we're like this. All right, before you jump all over me and tell me, but it's not a real design tool. It's not for real designers. I know a lot of people who are making six figures off of Canva, and I think they'd be able to do that here off Adobe Express as well. It's a pretty cool tool. Let's show you around a little bit. When you open up express.adobe.com, you can find your left-hand bar that has all of your, your dashboard, your projects, your brands, your libraries that are connected to your Adobe CC libraries, come on. And then you also have your scheduler for your social media posts and a knowledge base. Across the top, really similar to Canva, it has all of the different types of things you can make. Just prefabricated, ready to go, stories, posts, Facebook posts, posters, logos, flyers, let's see, collages, book covers, album art, YouTube thumbnails, resumes, invitations, menus. You ask for it and you can probably find it here on Adobe Express, really, really cool. But then down below, you have this really cool quick bar, love this, popular things like remove the background from an image, and it works really, really good. Resizing images, converting things to GIFs. I think about doing that all the time and I have to go find something else to do it. It can be kind of like taxing and time consuming. How about converting things to MP4s or just trimming a little bit off some video? That'd be nice to do. Resizing video, merging videos or changing the speed of videos. You also have things that are specific to images. You can drill down on things that are specific to video, QR code generation, and now PDF conversion and other tools, really, really awesome. Below that, we have a bunch of templates that are just for me, small business, personal, social, and then you have a bunch of popular templates. It's just Canva template kind of creation stuff, maybe some uh, kind of like promotion on how it plugs in with other Adobe apps. That's fine, I'm not opposed to it, I like it. But look, all this stuff is just so cool, even dropping in some design royalty to make you think kind of twice about how awesome this might be. But let's dive in and check out one of these designs and see what we can do with it. Let's just, uh, sure, let's start with all you need to know about bees, shall we? We'll just jump in and create that. Tap that and you get this prefabricated, preloaded template for you. If you don't like this template or what it offers you, you can always go to the templates tab on the left-hand side and you can search through all the other templates that are there. You also have text options, photos that you can add, shapes. So if we wanted to drag a shape just like Canva, I can just pull one of these in here, drag and drop. Really, really simple. There is my illustration. This illustration is editable as are most things inside of Adobe Express. And it's really, if you've used Canva, you've basically used Adobe Express. You have all the same options. You have blending modes and transparency, being able to flip things, orient, rotate, size, all that kind of stuff, and then just delete it right off the canvas. Uh, we can change backgrounds and design assets that we can just kind of pop in. Uh, we also have the connection down there with our logos. If we've created a brand, we want to bring stuff in or our Adobe libraries. Like we have all of our libraries from our projects that you can find and open up in the rest of the Adobe suite, in Photoshop, in Illustrator, in XD, whatever. They're all available to you here as well. And all of this stuff has just great, like basically functionality through it, right? We can double click and we can type in and change the text here. We get like a preview of that in real time, which is really, really nice. Lots of great font options, typography options. Of course, it's all baked into, you know, Adobe fonts, which is really, really cool. You have all the same options there, except now we have some effects. Like maybe we wanna just drop a shadow on this guy and then dictate what color the shadow will be. Super good. We drop an outline on this thing as well. Uh, and then we have some font recommendations, which is really, really cool down here in this helpful little panel. So, hey, maybe we don't like that one. We wanna do something a little bit more like that and just scale it up real time bees. I don't know how that came to be, but it is pretty rad. It's pretty cool. Let's go back to discover. What else do we have? Maybe we don't wanna be making this bee kind of illustration here. That's fine. You can always just go back to home and your designs are saved. You can see my recent designs down here on the bottom left-hand corner. There's my B design. If I wanted to go back into it, just click 
There we are, right back to our previous design. But let's go back home. Let's try something a little bit different here. Let's actually, uh, let's see, let's create a really fun, let's just copy Chris Doe inside of Adobe XD and create something like this. We'll, uh, we'll take Chris Doe out of there. Let's upload our own image, shall we? Let's go to photos, upload a photo. Go into my photos, I'll grab like an avatar of myself, see if we can upload that. Okay, pretty cool. Can we remove the background from here? Absolutely we can. Directly in the edit image panel, we have the option to remove background. Let's see how good of a job it does. And we just get a little bit of some spinning. It looks really good. Everything looks good. Let's press check. And boom, we have our cutout right there. Let's actually just uh, flip that around so I'm facing the other way. We'll expand it and let's do kind of similar to how Chris was. I think he was a little bit more on the desaturated side. So let's uh, let's see what we can do here in filters. Let's go grayscale. I love it. Can we do any enhancements here? Yeah, we do a little bit of brightness, a little bit of contrast there. I like it. Okay, it looks really, really good. And we can kind of place it however we want. Maybe turn it back around the other way. No, it was good. Command Z works to go back just like in other uh, design programs. So this is all really, really good stuff. Now, if we like this and we want to create a duplicate, just like in Canva, add page, same as this page, boom. We get our second page here and we can page back and forth between the two. If we want to duplicate this page, boom, we did that. So you are able to view all pages by clicking the icon down below and we can actually do some like batch editing here where we can say, hey, take all of those and let's just delete those last three. Good, and we'll drill back down on our first, our first one here. So it looks pretty good. If we're ready, we can download it in PNG, PNG with a transparent background, uh, JPEG or PDF. Let's just do a JPEG and we'll start the download. You completed your first project. Pretty cool. Ready to create more? We sure are. I have some other things that I would like to try. For instance, we can go to our logos section. Uh, actually, let's go back to home really quickly. And we can go to our brands section right here. You can see I've actually created a brand. We can go in and manage it. And uh, we put in our colors and our logo. And it's given us a little bit of like uh, some more colors, some suggested colors. We've loaded up the fonts and you can see some examples of how it might get displayed inside of our work. Those are the things that we can actually use. So if I wanna go back and re-edit that previous project, which we already downloaded, we could have came into logos and we could have added a primary logo just like that and sized it down. That could have been pretty nice. Maybe even the name that's suggested there up at the top, right? Look at that. We're adding some brand assets. And of course we can go always, always go into those Adobe XD libraries as well, or Adobe library, excuse me. So we're saving our project and going back out. We like it. I like it a lot. What about a little bit of video? Can we trim some video resize? video let's try it shall we we'll trim a little bit of video here we'll select a sample video and drop it in there let's select here and see what it does we get an example of some I mean pretty long that's a five minute video and if we just wanted to trim it down to like these few seconds right here you actually can even timestamp and say I want to trim it down between you know 118 and 1 you know, 22, really, really precise. And then we can actually change the size here. Let's go portrait, fill the screen with our video, drag around to pan. We're doing like really cool, like video, like basic standard, like video stuff. I can see using this all the time. And then even go square, fill the screen really nice. Let's just pan right there. And then again, boom, we love how it is. We download our video. That is pretty stinking cool. And I think that the reason Adobe is able to do this is because they've acquired and plugged in so many different resources for video and for, you know, uh, online, like web tool creation, all that stuff that they're able to do all of this stuff. Well, it's really, really cool. I love it a lot. And then the last kind of bell and whistle that I love very much besides the editor, which is really, really great, besides the brands and the assets and the uh, and being able to tap into your Adobe libraries, we it also comes with something called schedule.adobe, which is gonna go ahead and compete with things like later or different social media posting and management kind of scheduling tools. This allows us to pick a day on the calendar and add a new post. We can add media 
and we can say, hey, just upload it from my device or head over to Adobe Express. We just made a really, really cool post here. So let's grab that post that we just created inside of Adobe Express. Love it. Let's upload it and then let's select the category or the destination we want to send this to, okay? Uh, okay, so it tells us, you know, some restrictions around uh, around uh, Instagram or some of the other platforms, maybe LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter. We can post to all of these if we want to, uh, which is really, really cool. And then we can say, hey, let's post it at whatever time on, let's do like the day after next and we'll schedule this post and boom it's done uh we have successfully scheduled our post it has no caption to it we can go in and actually add the caption if we'd like to and even add a first comment which is really really cool this right now as far as at this very moment seems to be free to use with no limitations as long as you have an adobe subscription or an account to use adobe express that's pretty wild actually if you ask me because that's an expense that a lot of designers who are creating social media posts and try to maintain their social presence have to pay for on the side. Now it's all kind of baked in here. And so all in all, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that Adobe Express is a Canva killer. It's a later killer. It is a great resource and asset, especially even for designers like me who love using the rest of the Adobe Creative Suite, who love using Photoshop and XD and Illustrator, all of that I'm super into, but sometimes I just need to make a social media post. Sometimes I just need to trim a video. I don't wanna fire up Premiere Pro. I might just be able to do it right here and then actually export things for all the different sizes. For social media, are you kidding me? This is, for me, absolutely mind-blowing. I wanna hear what you think about Adobe Express though. Let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, Make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell so you know when more videos like this one come out. If you have any questions, leave those down in the comments. You can also find a link to Adobe Express down in the description of this video. I hope you're having an amazing week. I hope you're designing amazing things, making amazing things, and using tools that help increase your productivity and decrease your workload. I'll see you in the next one.